This episode is brought to you by Bakers and Bakers Electronic Toasters. Another fine day of sun here in Kansas, and the birds are a singing. That's why, right, Ernie. It's currently 7 a.m., and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Is that a new shirt, Ellen? Why, yes, it is, Ernie. Thank you for noticing. Well, hey, you know, I got a new tie. Sorry, guy, could you lower your voice? It is only 7. <laughs> Somebody probably hasn't had their coffee. <laughs> yes. Anyways, on with the news. Um. Our President Woodrow Wilson seems to be no closer to any peaceful resolution with Mexico's commander, Benistiano Carranza. While confronted with the Me Mexican Revolution, Wilson has worked with the greatest effort to promote a functioning government, a safeguard for U.S. citizens living in Mexico for along Mexico's border, and protecting U.S. investments. Having relations with Mexico under the presidency of Porfirio Diaz, 40,000 Americans have settled in U.S. investors and secured close to $2 billion into Mexican oil wells and other insecure investments. Relations with Mexico in many ways are critical. Wilson had just come into office in 1913 when turmoil continued to strike the people of Mexico, dealing with assassinations and overthrowings of their leaders, one after another. Just between 1911 and 1914, Mexican had gone through four leaders, previously General Victoriano Huerta, who manifested tension between Mexico and America, and now in the present, Banistino Carranza, who creates further tension between the two countries. I'm going to teach the South American republics to elect good men, said the president last week. A wonderful man, that Wilson. He sure is. Unlike some people. Okay, folks, you know what time it is. Percival is on the trail. Each Tuesday, our interview specialist, Percival J. Henley, finds himself somewhere in the country to get the feel of our nation's cultures and people. Today, in this special edition of Percy on the Trail, we're going to be connecting to Percy who is tagging along in the U.S. Army punitive expedition for Pancho Villa deep in the Mexican interior. Give us a minute, please. So you got a new tie, huh, guy? Why, yes, I did, Ernie. Uh, thank you for noticing. Did your mom pick it up for you? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Percy, we're beginning to see you. Hello, everyone. Hello, audience. Hello, Percy. Uh, it's wonderful to see you. I mean, you're alone. Is everything all right? Everything's all right. I just had to relieve myself for a minute. Uh, the militia's up ahead. Why don't you tell us about how you got there? As we know, in October of 1915, the United States recognized Venusiano Carranza as the president of Mexico. Francisco, or Pancho, Villa's former ally and current rival. The attacks perpetrated by Pancho Villa were initially caused by the United States providing Carranza with rail transport. Villa began attacking American holdings in Mexico. On November 26, 1915, Pancho Villa sent a force of his visas to attack Nogales. Now, very recently, Pancho Villa attacks Columbus, New Mexico, and Camp Furlong, a U.S. military posting. After this attack by the revolutionary, President Woodrow Wilson immediately ordered General John J. Pershing, who's at the front of the group ahead, to pursue him into Mexico. A few days ago, a lieutenant of the group named George Patton raided San Miguelito Ranch, the ranch of a Villa leader named Julio Cardenas, with 15 men and three Dodge Touring cars. Cardenas and two other Mexican Villistas were killed. Patton strapped them to the hood of the cars and drove into camp. I spoke with him earlier as he carved three notches into his cult peacemakers. And how are things now? Well, we've just been talking for a few hours with no sign of anything today. The men here and I have been palling around. And we seem to be in okay spirits, but our rations are running lower each day. Without any end in sight soon, we might have to pack it up and head home soon. I, uh, I think I'm going to have to go find my way back to the group now, if you don't mind. Okay, Percy. We wish you well. Hope to hear from you soon. Oh, hey, is Guy there? No, he's out. Sorry. Okay. See you all later. 
That lovely band of men Percy is currently part of is being led by General John J. Pershing, a perfect model of not only an American soldier, but an American citizen. Pershing was sworn in as a soldier at West Point in 1882 and graduated with much success in 1886. For a brief time, beginning in 1895, Pershing took command of the 10th Cavalry Regiment, a Negro cavalry, which would gain him the nickname Black Jack. Over the time from then to now, Pershing has battled and suppressed many of the natives still in this country and has risen to a general. One year ago, Pershing lost his wife and three daughters in a tragic fire in San Francisco. Yet being the grounded man he is, Pershing quickly jumped back into his commanding position. At the beginning of this year, of course, the general was called into action to trek into the deep Mexican interior to catch the infamous Pancho Villa. Godspeed to you, Pershing. We hope you find him as well as some closure. On another note, the general, like any American, loves to take part in some of the more leisure activities in life. Visiting his home in Fort Bliss, Texas, Eleanor and I... to his home? While he's out on the road? Please don't interrupt, Sky. Eleanor and I found that the general is a fan and player of polo. He frequents in a field nearby with his horse Lorraine and Humphrey, the cutest little bloodhound you ever will see. Pershing, you certainly are an American treasure. Now, staying on the topic of the U.S. and Mexico, we're going to be connecting for an interview with a randomly picked citizen of Mexico City to understand their views on Pancho Villa, Carranza, and Wilson. Are we good to go? Okay. Hello! Hola! Well, we have a short amount of time, so I apologize if I ask these questions at lightning speed. How do you feel about the impact that Pancho Villa is giving to the Mexican country in general? Do you think it affects the image at all, or do you believe he is just a nuisance? ¿Quiere que le ayude a limpiar su cuarto? What? I'm sorry? ¿Puedo hacer su yarda por usted? Uh, ¿Tiene trabajo? This, this man only speaks Spanish. ¿Puedo limpiar todo su cuarto y puedo limpiar su casa? ¿Puedo uh, hacerle comida? ¿Puedo... What the heck was that? Who found this man? You should be ashamed of yourself. <clears throat> um, pardon us for a commercial break. A Magnum. and I've got a present for you. Yes, you! Are you ever just sitting at home when you think, I wish my bread could be a notch above everybody else's. Well, now you can make that a reality. Me and my brother Hank want to introduce you to the new line of toasters by Bakers and Bakers. With this amazing metal mechanism, you'll be able to thoroughly cook bread and bagels to a golden tinted perfection even frozen waffles, which may or may not have been invented yet. So come on down to your local appliance store. I guarantee that once you pick up one of these puppies, you ain't ever want to go back to that oven ever again. I'm Florence Baker, and please just give me your money. Welcome back. Now is the time for our daily fan letter. This letter comes from Harriet, who lives in Topeka. Thank you very much, Harriet. Dear Kansas News Team, thank you all for taking the time of your day to entertain me and the state. I love you all. Eleanor, Ernie, and Percival. I love watching you in the morning while I eat toast made with my Baker's and Baker's electric toaster. Nothing makes me happier than... Where's God? Breaking news! Breaking news! Breaking news! 
Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. We just got word from a small town in Texas called Glen Springs. The Eastas have attacked the town of Glen Springs and the town of Boquillas and wreaked havoc. It appears their goal was a raid on the town's money supply. Although Pancho Villa was not directly part of this raid, and his followers orchestrated and executed the attack in the name, in his name and for his advantage. When raiders led by Rod Rodriguez Ramirez entered Glen Springs on the night of May 5th, they entered as unassuming citizens until 11 p.m. At 11 p.m., they began to raid the town, shooting and yelling, Viva Villa. A nine-man cavalry squad led by Charles E. Smith was nearby and awakened by the shooting. The cavalry rushed to the town and fired on the rebels, taking refuge in a do in adobe building. The fighting raged for hours until the re rebels set the roof ablaze, forcing the soldiers to retreat and causing the death of three. At the same time, just 12 miles east of Glen Springs, another party led by Natividad Alvarez raided Boquillas with little resistance. They were able to rob the silver mine and a general store. Alvarez was supposedly captured, but his men took two civilians hostage and retreated to Rio Grande. All in total, three soldiers and one civilian killed, and two missing. President Wilson is said to be working on a counterattack and search and rescue mission to bring the two hostages home. I'm sure you're very satisfied with yourself. I love breaking news. The name is Guy. It's actually a French form of the name Wido, which is Germanic. Wido. And I'm sure you know what that means, Guy. Uh, it... it means wood. Your mother named you Wood. Must have been a disappointment. <laughs> right out of the womb. I'm calling this one Wood. Before the show is over, we're going to connect back with Percival to see how the expedition is going, along with the morale of the militia. Hello again, Percival. How's it going? Uh, I'm lost. What? I stopped to get Tino. Uh, relieve myself. See, the group earlier, we all had uh, chimichangas, Percy, but... Percy, we get it. The thing is, how do you lose track of 10,000 men, Percy? All I know is that I'm cold. I'm alone, and there's a band of coyotes following. I just ran out of chimichangas. I think maybe you need to stop with the chimichangas. Oh god, I think it's the coyotes. Oh! Oh! Well, howdy do! I thought you were one of them coyotes. Where's Baker? Oh, how you doing? Hey, Lord, it don't looks like we got separated from the group here. Yeah, it's nice to find somebody. Um, which way is back to the group? Screw this, I'm going back to go America. Wait, what, why? The Mohicans. This whole expedition is long. I've already been running low on rations. This is a nearly a month. I've found Vila's followers, I guess. But that's not what we're here for, is it? Pretty soon, I'm sure they'll pack up and head back. We need to connect with Mexico and sort this out. Not just to head in their land and think we can do this all by ourselves. Yeah, I see what you mean. Hey, wait, are we, is that guy recording us? Well, yes, I'm a newscaster. Well, how to do? You ever heard of the electric toaster? Well, if that's not a better time to end this, then I don't know what is. Thank you to everyone for stopping by this morning. We hope you have a great day. That's right. A beautiful Kansas day awaits you all. I'm Ernie Robbins. And I'm Eleanor Stone. And I'm Guy Whitman. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching.